So when we think about our uh, various uh, immigration-related laws, uh, you know, how what's an example of how the regime we have impacts uh, American businesses' ability to produce effectively? So there are many visas that the United States offers. So one of them that affects Arizona directly is the farm worker visa, where yeah. people from Mexico can go get a visa to come work in the lettuce fields of Yuma. Uh, I understand that about 7,000 workers come work that season with yeah. a legal visa with permission to work, and that benefits the consumers and it benefits the growers, clearly. The construction industry has approached us about how can we extend these visas to construction workers because they need workers. Uh, it's very hard work, it's very labor intensive, and they need more workers, and they're having a hard time recruiting people, so they would like to have a visa to offer to construction workers. The landscape industry as well, and the retail and the, the restaurant industry Industry also would uh, benefit from those kinds of visas, right? People just want permission to work. And one of the things that we're doing uh, an economic model analysis right now of extending these visas is that many people would then pay into Social Security. Mm -hmm. And if they did, it would give Social Security a big boost. And so those are the kinds of benefits and, uh, you know, accruements that we yeah. can benefit from if people had better paying jobs, had benefits. And the construction industry, me, people that I've met with will yeah. tell me, I'm happy to pay more. I'm yeah. happy to provide benefits. I'm happy to provide services. I just need a labor force. Yeah. yeah. So, so that would be one way that we could change our, our visa regime. Okay.